Welcome to Celtic Night Prayer on Thursday the 13th of August. Here at the end of the day, in the stillness of the night I pray, My Lord, you created me and you know me. I am your child. Psalm 78 verses 58 to 64. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord. They grieved him with their hill altars and provoked him to displeasure with their idols. God heard and was greatly angered and utterly rejected Israel. He forsook the tabernacle at Shiloh, the tent of his presence on earth. He gave the ark of his strength into captivity, his splendour into the adversary's hand. He delivered his people to the sword and raged against his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men. There was no one to lament their maidens. Their priests fell by the sword and their widows made no lamentation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord. God our Shepherd, in all our wanderings and temptations, teach us to rest in your mercy, and trust in your defence through him who laid down his life for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Matthew's Gospel. Peter came and said to Jesus, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times, Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him, and as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves, who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will repay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he should pay the entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. When Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
My father, the day is over and the shadows of night fall softly round me. I thank you for the many blessings of the day, for the people I have spoken with and the good friends who have helped me on my way, for the special moments of joy which have made my heart glad and for giving me the opportunity to show your love to others. My father, I long to serve you aright. I am truly sorry for those moments where I failed you. Forgive me that I may lay down this night in peace. Amen. May the peace of the night enfold me, so that I may be bathed in love. The love of the Father who made me, the love of the Son who died for me, the love of the Spirit who dwells within me, bless me and keep me. Amen. May heaven come close as I sleep this night, and angels surround me with Christ's pure light. Amen. Amen. Amen.